East Coast Healthy Reviews today. Doing a whiskey review. This is Boone's Bourbon Homegrown Whiskey. It says quality American white oak barrel aged American bourbon whiskey. Um, I have some notes on the whiskey jug. It says region South Carolina distiller striped pig. Mash bill 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% malted barley. Cask, new charred oak, aged for six months. ABV 58.5% or 117 proof. It is cash strength, non chill filtered, natural color. It was right around $37 for the 750. Um, so, yeah, on the back of it says it aged a minimum of six months in what American white oak charred barrels. So, uh, I'm going to pop this open. It's actually my bottle of whiskey for a vacation go to the pour I got these plastic cups don't have a good hair with me um, color of it like a nice caramel color for six months it actually has some decent color it's probably because it's cash strength um, so yeah like a light caramel nose Green, oak, caramel, orchard fruit like apples. Very apple actually. Bless you. Yeah, lots of oak, grain, dark caramel, toffee. Maybe like a little bit of dried fruits. For 58.5%, it's got a little bit of burn on the nose, but not as much as you would expect from a cash strength bourbon. Um, yeah, it smells pretty good. A little bit of spice, like some cinnamon spice. Lots of sweet corn as well. It's a high corn mash bill, 75% corn. A little bit of that rye spice. Bless you. You okay? Yeah. Let's go for a taste. Mouth feels buttery, caramel, toffee, brown sugar. It's got some burn. 58.5%. You can taste it. Not so much on the nose, on the palate, it's definitely hot. Um, grainy, astringent dry oak on the finish lots of spice lingering spice um mouthfeel like i said is uh like a buttery mouthfeel flavor is very rich though lots of deep caramel toffee butterscotch Orchard fruit on the palate as well. Maybe even a little bit of peanut. This is hot. There's a lot of spice, a lot of burn with this one. You feel it on your tongue. I like it. Some vanilla as well. I feel like if this was aged for a little bit longer, it probably wouldn't be so hot, but definitely would not be going taking shots of this. Um would do pretty good as a cocktail because you don't have to use much. And um, I can see myself doing like a whiskey and coke with this one. But you don't have to use much. And uh, you can definitely taste it. And if you if you did put too much in a cocktail, you would definitely notice. Like I said, for the price, cash strength, $37. You can make a lot of cocktails with this one bottle. It is good. Um, I kind of had a feeling that it was going to be really hot 58.5% 117 proof um, like I said I think I was going to mostly make like whiskey and cokes with this unfortunately my uh, flight is soon 
and I still have this much of a bottle, so I didn't even really go for the bottle. I've been drinking beer and stuff on vacation. Um, so unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to leave a decent amount of this behind. I think I'm just probably just gonna leave it in the hotel room, um, which is sad. I know I shouldn't have bought this big of a bottle. We, we were here for six days, and I thought I would drink more of it. Like I said, it is really strong, and uh, I've been drinking beer. We're out in the hot sun, you know, so this is definitely like one of those winter whiskeys, something to sip on, warms your chest up, and being, nine, being in 90 degree weather, it wasn't the best decision to buy a whole bottle of whiskey in. Would you agree? Yeah. I should try it. Well, no, did you try it? No, you smelled it. Yeah, and she said it smelled really strong. I like it though. Like I said, for the price, really good price. Um, we actually don't have this one in Rhode Island, where I'm from. Um, so that's why I grabbed it when I saw it, cash train, like I said, I was with a buddy of mine when I came down here and, uh, I thought we were going to go through it more, but we ended up just drinking beer. Like I said, it was a little too much. Um, definitely a winter whiskey for a rating. Considering the price, it is very good. Like I said, vanilla, a little bit of peanut, apples, it's got like a very apple juice taste to it, a strong apple juice taste. And it's definitely simple, like I said, that spice sticks around for a long time. Um, so I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Um, like I said, considering the price, really good price, $37 for a cash drank bourbon. And uh, I'm gonna recommend it to you guys, if you guys can find this. If you guys like cash drank bourbons, or you just want something that's good value and you can make cocktails with, I recommend picking this one up. Um, like I said, I want to go doing shots of this, so I would definitely, this would either be a nice smooth sipper or something you would mix with cocktails. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. Is there anything else that you guys like to see on my channel? Definitely leave a comment down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. And like the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.